Welcome to the Sabenko Climb Tutorial for Wipeout HD. Sabenko Climb is by far the most technical track in the game. It's absolutely riddled with sharp corners and undulating track sections. This track also has a prime opportunity for plenty of barrel rolls, some more useful than others. So let's start off by taking a tour of this very complicated track on Venom Class. Now let's go through the whole track step by step. You're given a taste of what Sabenko Climb is all about on the very first corner, a left hairpin. This one is actually less daunting than the one on Shengu Project for three reasons. The corner is slightly sloped, you have a much better approach and the track itself is actually wider. As you approach the corner, immediately move over to the right hand side. Even if this is a race and you've started on the left hand side of the grid, you still need to move over to the right. Just as you see the countdown sign disappear from your view overhead, slam on the left air brake and aim for the left apex. When you feel the craft starting to swing back towards the outside, use some left side shift to pull it back towards the centre and there's a speed pad waiting for you on the exit. The bump in the track you see in front of you here will throw you up into the air giving you an opportunity to barrel roll. As you go over it though, you need to have the nose of your craft pointing downwards to avoid gaining too much height and losing speed as a result. Barrel roll once you're in the air, but make sure you're prepared for the next turn. Try to move over to the left hand side while you're in the air for the best approach. The next few corners are very sharp and for the most part you'll be relying on the momentum of your craft to carry you through. The one you see ahead is a sharp ascending right hander. As you land from the barrel roll, you need to slam on the right air brake and allow the momentum of your craft to carry you into the corner. Try to end up in the middle so that you hit the speed pad on exit. And if you do find that you've turned too late, right side shift to correct it. Once you've cleared the speed pad, move over to the right hand side and over the peak in front of you. Once again, you'll gain enough height to barrel roll. However, I find that this particular barrel roll is only useful in speed lap and time trial. Because it takes you straight into a corner, you won't gain a dramatic amount of speed from it and the amount of energy you would lose in a race would not justify such a small speed increase. The corner waiting for you over the top of this peak is a very sharp left-hander. You'll need to slam on the left air brake the second you trigger your barrel roll. When you do, aim as close to the left apex as possible and then left side shift on exit. Another peak here leads into the final sharp corner of this series. Again, this is a barrel roll that will probably only be useful in speed lap and time trial. On exiting the previous corner, quickly move over to the left hand side. When you land from your barrel roll, hit the right air brake and turn the nose into the apex. Due to your speed, it's very likely that even though you aim towards the apex, you're going to shoot towards the outside. This is fine as long as you're ready with the right side shift to stop yourself slamming into the left wall. Over this small peak here is the longest straight in Sabenko Climb. Tap the right air brake to take you over the peak and then aim to exit on the right hand side as well to hit a double speed pad. And then as you go down the straight, hit the speed pads on the left and then further down on the right. Do be aware though that between the second and third speed pad, the track narrows dramatically. So get back over to the center as quickly as possible. Of course, in an ideal scenario, you'll have a turbo coming into this section. Considering you have a peak followed by a very long straight section, it's an absolutely perfect barrel roll opportunity. If you are going to attempt a barrel roll down this section, make sure you approach the peak on the left hand side. This will give you just enough height to perform the roll without gaining so much height that you lose speed down the straight. Now there is of course another reason why you attempt the roll on the left hand side. 
If you really wanted to, you could perform it from the right hand side, however you're likely to gain a lot more height and this could happen. I got away very lightly with this, normally you'd end up respawning way back before you used your turbo. The extreme slope of this right hander here means that it is nowhere near as sharp as it appears. As a result one of the most common mistakes made when tackling this corner is to overturn it and end up crashing into the inside wall. If you hit the speed pad on approach to this corner you'll be over on the right hand side. Keep an eye over to the right apex, near the bottom will be another speed pad. Tap the right air brake and then head down to hit it. Once you have hit it, continue turning into the corner but do not use the air brakes. You'll find yourself drifting over towards the outside. This is fine, use a right side shift to pull yourself away from the left wall if you drift too far. If you've managed to take it well enough, you should emerge on a speed pad just over to the right hand side. The next section is quite tricky, but very rewarding if pulled off correctly. There's a small peak up ahead, and if you manage to hit the speed pad beforehand and you approach it correctly, you'll gain just enough height to barrel roll. However, the section that follows it is not as straight. What it is, is a quick series of very shallow chicanes, and there is a very narrow line going straight through all of them. As you come out of the tunnel, aim just over to the right, tap the left air brake to align yourself correctly, and barrel roll. By landing on the right hand side, you'll give yourself the best opportunity to take as many of these bends as possible. However, taking it from the right means that the last bend will be closed off. As you'll see in this run, the best method to deal with that is to right side shift when you reach the last bend. If you do have a turbo, it is also possible simply to boost straight over all of these bends. However, there is a roof over the top of the bends, and if you get the height wrong, you're going to slam straight into it. The final corner series is a sharp right followed by a quick left. There's a speed pad on the right hand side on exit, and also if you're using weapons, there's a weapon pad on the outside of the corner too. The best way I've found to take this corner is to start turning late. Use the right air brake to pull the craft into the corner, allow the momentum to carry you to the outside, and then right side shift towards the speed pad. And then the last thing that's needed is a slight tap of the left air brake to take you back onto the final straight. And now finally, let's see the whole track done at full Phantom Class speed. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with the game.